you and John, how did you guys meet? What's the love story here? I love a good love story. Well, we first met like in person because he would come to AAA. Uh, started coming to AAA once Lucha Underground. So Lucha Underground season one started. I did not get picked for season one. I was devastated. Wow, wow. Uh, and then uh, he started coming in for AAA. And of course, whenever there was anybody that spoke English, I was just like, oh my God, you're my best friend. Yeah. And uh, so we met that way, but that was kind of just it. And then when I found out I was going to Lucha Underground for season two, originally I was supposed to be Cobra Moon. <laughs> like I had done all the measurements and the costume stuff for Cobra Moon. Oh, wow. And then they told me when I got there, you know, I hope you brought your regular gear. And I was like, yeah, why? And they're just like, we changed everything. You're just Taya now. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then they're like, and you're in a faction with Johnny Mundo. And I'm like, okay, what is happening? Why am I being paired with John Morrison? <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah and uh and then it, like they added pj black and added you know yeah jack heavens so that was kind of how it started and then we were just like working together and that was it and i like remember and he also specifically remembers this was like the first vignette that we shot he's like in a gym and i'm supposed to be his, you know coming in and talking to him and stuff and i remember even asking him like what is our dynamic like are we buds are we flirty or are we like I didn't know because at first of all I was just kind of working with this guy for the first time I'm petrified because I'm like oh my god it's John Morrison and <laughs> Jomo oh, baby little tie of Valkyrie from Mexico and uh <laughs> and he was like I don't know let's just let's just spiel it out and he was being typical like just like you know super over the top nice John and then I kind of asked the writers and they're like, let's see just how it goes. I'm like, oh my God, like I need to be told what to do here. Give me some direction, something. Yeah. So like those first vignettes, when I watched them, I'm like, <laughs> what is happening? What, what, what was the decide of what did you decide that you were going to lead with? Was it flirty or was it buddy? I was going with buddy because okay. I just felt awkward and I didn't know, like, I just didn't know. And I was like super nervous and intimidated. And I was just like, buddies, yay. And so that kind of just how it started. And then as time went on at the, at the temple, like the building where Luch Underground was filmed, John started following me around everywhere. <laughs> 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 to the point, like I would be in the makeup chair and he's just in there circling and asking me bizarre questions about stuff. And, and I remember once he texted me and being like, what kind of like entrance music do you want? I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, you know, entrance music. And I was like, we don't have entrance music at Lucha Underground. What are you talking about? <laughs> like just strange things. And like one of my favorite stories, and he will he will uh, attest to this, was I was sitting in the room where a lot of the the AAA guys were, uh, were like their locker room or whatever. Because there was like a bunch of small rooms. And I just went in there to talk to everybody, blah, 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 blah. And I was sitting on the couch with Phoenix on one side and Penta on the other. And John just walks into the room and he's like, hola, amigos. And like, just being like really over the top. And everyone's like, what the f like kind of thing. And he's just like, Taya, can we talk? And like, I was like, yeah, just give me a second. He walks out and both Phoenix and Pentagon are just like, whoa. We <laughs> have been filming a whole season and a half with this guy and he has never come in here. And now he speaks Spanish. <laughs> Oh my God. And they were just like, and then John showed like, wanted to take us all out for dinner and like pay for things and like, and try to impress my friends basically, because yeah. you know, like Phoenix Daga and Penta and I, like we all came up together in AAA. So we were like a very tight knit, like family dynamic that we had. And so I thought John was trying to win over my older brothers, you know, like trying yeah. to get their approval. And I remember once Daga even says this too, he's like at the after party and John's dancing around and being crazy and Daga's doing the same thing. And I'm still like, so embarrassed. I was like, Oh my God, John, stop that. Like, stop it. <laughs> Daga's like, you better, better stop doing that. She's mad. Like, <laughs> just like weird things like that. So basically he followed me around the temple for, for weeks until I agreed to go out with him. <laughs> And here we are. And here we are. We've been married four and a half years and uh, yeah, life is good. It sure is. I, I mean, I feel like not that it's inevitable, but I, I do. I mean, I love, I feel like the wrestling couples, everyone's sort of like perfectly paired with their person in like some weird way. 
Yeah. Like Mike and Maurice are obviously like so perfect together. Brie and Brian, like there's, it's so funny looking at like the couples that come out of wrestling. And even like when John and I first started dating too, it was very like, not quite like that, but like he would talk to me more than he ever talked to anybody else. Yeah. Like, why is he talking to you? I'm like, I don't know. He just has always talked to me. I didn't think that it was weird. I don't yeah. know why we're making this a thing, but here we are in it. Yeah, it worked ask, out. Asking all these questions and following us around, you know, yeah. can help it. <laughs> damn, damn American Johns. Yeah. Those cuties.